Hello and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to set up Firebase in Flutter. We have already created a setup a complete Poro video of how to set up Firebase in Flutter using Firebase CLI which is this video set up Firebase in which we covered each and every step to install the Firebase CLI and these are the steps that we covered we created a new Firebase project install the Firebase CLI download the node.js and with the very few commands we set up the Firebase inside our local machine and I'll drop the link down below in the description like over here you will be able to watch the playlist and for today's tutorial we are going to connect the same Firebase project the one we created inside our e-commerce app if you're new here and if you did not yet watch the Flutter e-commerce app and nothing to be worried about you just have to create any setup project by watching this video I'll drop the link in the description and in today's tutorial the project that we have already created inside Firebase we are going to use that project so that our app and web are accessing the same database or the same firebase project whenever admin is going to do some changes inside the same database that changes should be appeared inside our app so that's why we have to access the same project as you can see we are creating flutter admin panel tutorials and we are inside our section one in the section one we have almost completed all the videos and this is the last video of this setup if you're new you can watch the previous videos link is in the description so without wasting time let's get started So first of all, I have opened the Firebase console in which we have e-commerce app project that we created for our application. Once again, if you have not yet created any project, you can watch the previous video, link is in the description and simply create your Firebase project. Once uh, you have this project created, open your project that we created in the previous videos. You just have to open the project that we created in the previous tutorial and open the terminal. Make sure you are logged in with your Firebase and if you are logged in, you just have to run the command flutter fire configure and it is going to fetch all the available projects for us. Okay, in here I have just found a lot of projects, I think 16 Firebase projects. So we have to choose one. If you open your project again and go to project settings, inside you can see the project name, project ID, which is A236A. So it is over here, which is e-commerce app A236A. I'm going to click on enter make sure you have selected web if you want to later on move toward android and ios from this same web application then make sure that is also selected and i'm going to go with these three options hit enter okay here you can see we have successfully configured all of uh, three platforms okay once our firebase project is connected let's open the pubspec.yml file and in here we have added our four firebase packages these are not the latest packages because I've just copied these packages from the e-commerce app. Make sure you have all these latest packages over here. And just for the overview, these are the packages that we are using for the web specific packages. Then we have icons, state management and the Firebase packages over here. Once you added all the packages, make sure to click on pubget. If you face any errors, first clear your pub by going to or running the command in the flutter. Just run the flood clean and then you can click on pub get. Once all the package is added, you can see over here we have a new Firebase option to dart. By using that file, we can easily now add or initialize our Firebase. We have to call the await sign. Then we are going to use Firebase dot initialize, but we have to import this Firebase. Inside the import, you just have to write Firebase options dot dart, which is right over here. So we are going to use Firebase dot and one more is related to the firebase code or dart which is a package so write firebase dot initialize app and as an option we can provide the current platform the four firebase options dot current platform because this is inside the firebase options or dart file and using then property when the initialization will be completed we are going to use this value initialize our firebase authentication repository which will which we will see in the upcoming tutorials but uh, i'm going to write that over here you can comment it because later on we will have to uncomment that because this is the file that is again going to see in which screen we have to be redirected either on the login screen or on the home screen so using dot then property we have a value which is a firebase app type of value we are not using this value you can simply add underscore this means that we are not going to use this value and using a fat arrows we just have to call get.put and pass the authentication repository class that we have not yet created 
so i'm going to comment this for now and add a semicolon over here so our firebase initialization is completed this was a very short and very quick tutorial and by end of this tutorial we have completed all the setup required for the flutter firebase web and also specifically to flutter web whatever we required we have completed we created the first project we learn how to set up the folder structure added all the packages dependencies assets then we also initialize this firebase and inside the firebase you have to make sure that you enable the authentication firestore database and storage and inside the firebase uh, firestore database make sure in the rules you have the timestamp enabled because otherwise you will not be able to access your database if this date has passed and also same is gone for this rules for the storage if this data is passed you will not be able to access your images and your database we are going to definitely write proper rules in the upcoming tutorials so don't worry about that and that's it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new if you learned something new please like the video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to like and subscribe and so that you will be able to get all the latest premium content once again thank you for watching take care